guys welcome back to the channel it's a non real guys thank you guys for being here let's talk about some it stuff today you know the channel is not only about truck so it's to do with much more than just that also talking about some it stuff some networking stuff and i came across this article today and i thought it could be good for the channel to share or you know with definitely with ai and stuff coming like that about and you know updates to pcs and systems um, Intel is introducing 14 generation cores without the E cores, which is interesting because uh, they're going to be packing 125 watts cores, i9 features 8p cores, and 16 threads. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, 16 threads and maximum I'm used to is like 8 or 12. So, so recently they Intel, right? As they are quite introduced a new series of processors. I did see something about an i11, i13, but I'm not sure if that's really true with those stuff because maybe that's a bit of rumors there. But with the information provided in the front, it says they covered the leak Intel's feature plans for the LGA. 1700 socket which involved a product named Bottle Lake S. Now this is a code name for one of the, one of the CPUs. Uh, both the Elder Lake and Rapt Lake hybrid die with P cores, E cores as well as the new drive featuring. So these are cores. Obviously your Pentium cores and I'm not sure if that would be the right words. Let's pull that up so we know going through here let's see if it does give me that right I'm gonna come back to it what are P cores just so we can familiarize ourselves so the performance cores and the energy efficient cores okay energy cores okay right so coming back to this article Right, that we know that's there. They're working on more finishing stuff. As we see, that's more on the ESG side, carbon footprints, stuff like that, which we're not really worried about. So the full new list of models included in the three core i9. I9s are really taking it up a notch, you know, with the stuff that they're packing, especially with the i7s as well with the new AI CPUs that's coming off and then standard the 4 core i5 <coughs> case like there I think there is a few i5s that has about 8 cores uh, that's coming out as well uh, that would be the 4.4 you know uh, gigahertz if they say that can go up to that speeds right then let's talk about their lineup the core i9 one four. Let's have a look at which one that is, right? Just to make sure here. I said that it is one four. Let's get back here. Nine oh one KE. Let's just have a look at what. Whew. It's close to about eight hundred dollars. For the CPU, oh, packs about 5.8 gigahertz, as you can see. And there's another article that talks about it. If you want, we can click into that article, which is interesting that it's doing it without the e cars, which means they're going to be much more. Yeah, that would make sense as this article explains it as Intel sneaks up the 914 Gen CPUs without e cores. Our flagship core is the first overclockable chip for the embedded market. Yeah, that would be that's perfectly makes sense right there because if you're going to take out the e cores, which definitely does limit it when you're trying to overclock stuff, right? And when you try to overclock your CPUs by giving it a few more processes normally they come in stock with one right so if you want to maybe increase the threads by four threads and stuff like that you're going to be able to do it because it's going to be much more easy without the e cores in place let's come back to that article 
because we covered that right and you can see they're going to eventually they will get to 6 gigahertz but 5.8 gigahertz is still good and we got 45 watt variant instead of 35 watts and then as you can see what it can go up to and 125 watts i mean that's a lot of power on there so that's like a super computer i wouldn't i mean that's the closest i could say right now is like a laptop going towards quantum computing and let's get to this article as they talk about intel's arrow lake s desktop cpu launch and there's some codes here we just went through the e-cards they talk about unorthodox cpus initially from an oem at the faction that's the manufacturers stuff right then they talk about intel's new e callers wrapped to lake with it Comp comprises three core ionides which wow this this is if you ain't that cheap man this is this is crazy it's almost the price of two laptops man after like two gaming laptops i mean with these three cpus two core i7 vets four core is what they meant when we were talking about it appears to be an overclockable full series part if this is true the which i kind of like the overclocking stuff because they make it really good uh, from intel side having the chips recycle uh raptor like dies that might have faulty e cores but are perfectly working beside that we suspect this is the sole season of why intel decided to create the new lineup in the first place to unload defective dies that probably have gathering up since the 14th gen launch now this is is something i would love to see in laptops because then you can have a laptop that lasts you a much longer time you can do much more because you know it this is something we we're going up towards i mean you don't have to have that bugginess and slowdowns and you know it would be perfect for not only windows i mean if you're running a linux you're gonna have an awesome time because with linux compared to you know your manually installed applications and automatically installed applications and pre-installed applications like windows you don't get that bloatware and stuff like that with linux so if you're gonna run linux and stuff you'll really enjoy yourself i mean it's gonna do well for windows but especially if you're using like linux and other softwares with these cpus it's you're gonna pack a lot of power to do much more than what you're looking for as they talk about 200 megawatts of its maximum boost up that's what it loses with the 64 with 5.6 2.8 as they talk about the power constraints and the graphics probably if with these cpus will require nvidia graphics and stuff like that just to be on the safe side and stuff like that guys we'll drop a link if you find this interesting Thank you for watching the video. I'm out, guys. See you next time.